Uh, senators in South Carolina are already working on a bill to limit refugees that come into the state because of terrorism fears. One of the sponsors of that bill says today's attacks highlight the need for regulating refugees. Our Robert Kittle tells us what the bill would do and what its chances are. The images from the airport in Brussels and the subway system there have held the world's attention. That includes the South Carolina Senate, which already had scheduled debate on a refugees bill when the attacks occurred. I believe it uh, emphasizes the need to pass this bill, which in my opinion will eliminate or reduce the amount of refugees that are brought into South Carolina. The bill says all refugees placed in South Carolina by the Federal Refugee Resettlement Program would have to register with the state law enforcement division. Senator Bryant says the second part of the bill is even more important. The bill says any person or group who sponsors a refugee can be held civilly liable if that refugee commits a crime. But Manning Senator Kevin Johnson will fight the bill. He says he understands the concern about terrorism. You have a lot of folks who, who are not trying to cause terror. They're actually trying to flee terror. And we have always been a country that welcomes people to our homeland for a safe haven. What do you say to opponents who say this country was built on immigrants and we need to be welcoming and open? Well, I would tell them to watch the news and see how terrorists have abused the refugee program in Europe. They have abused the refugee program in other parts of the country, and we don't want that in South Carolina. He expects the bill to pass the Senate this week and then go over to the House. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. There is, by the way, a third part of the bill. Robert just mentioned two. The third part would prohibit the use of any state money for refugees. But Senator Bryant says he's going to take that part out to help get it passed.